On today's edition of Forever Home, we got a call from a customer not sure whether she needed a plumber or a roofer. They had a solar heater on their pool that sprung a leaf up on the roof and couldn't exactly tell from the ground where the leak was coming from. We'll take you up top and we'll show you what we found. Let's get going. Here we go. So we climbed up on the roof and I expected to find something obvious. And as I checked around the pipes, I didn't find any major cracks or breaks or something that would have caused that geyser. So I asked the homeowner to turn on the pump so we could see where the water was coming out. After the system pressurized, much to my surprise, the water just started flowing out the end of the pipe, which looked nothing like what she'd showed us in the video. And as I followed the water down the roof, lo and behold, there was the cap hung up on the pipe at the bottom. So I made my way down the roof, which was of course now wet, and found the ring and the cap and brought those back up to the top and started figuring out how the system goes back together. And as you can see, the retaining ring around the cap had cracked. This little clip is supposed to connect this together and that whole piece of plastic is just sheared right off. And as the ring started to separate, the cap was not held on as tightly, which caused the geyser, but over time, the cap blew the rest of the way off and made its way down the roof. And now it's just flowing out the end. So for proof of concept, we put the cap back on and I kind of held it in place with my foot and started checking around the rest of the system to see if there's any other leaks, any other cracks, any other problems that I could see right there in the immediate area that would have caused the geyser just to verify that it really was the cap that had initially been causing the problem. So now that we've got it pressurized, I'm not seeing anything else. So we're gonna label this mystery solved, blame the cracked retaining ring as the problem. And that's what we're gonna work on fixing here today. So the retaining ring here definitely cracked, which allowed the cap to pop off. And in the process of this not being connected properly, water was spewing until it finally came off and rolled down the roof. And they've got several more of these that every three units across the, the roof here. So what we're gonna do today to solve this, there's a rubber gasket in there. That's gonna go back into the pipe. As you can see the end here. So the rubber goes in, that piece goes on. And once we got a good seal, our next step is going to be to take this hose clamp and use that to keep this shut um, so that it's not going to pop off again in the future. And we're going to recommend to our client that they try to buy a bunch more of these so they have them for the future. Okay, so we've got our ring around there, our cap on the ring here, and then we're just going to tighten this and pull it all together. All right, that's got us tightened all the way down where it needs to be, and that should hold it good and snug and we'll have them fire the system back up and make sure it's not leaking. Assuming that works, then if need be, we could run these around these other ones if needed. They're about every, every four panels here it looks. So I just counted without the camera, we got a total of 20 of those fancy clips that they would need in order to have a full set of replacements just in case. Everything seems to be working. The cap's back on, no water is leaking. And we're proud to say this product's not just done, it was coat built. So what do you think of this solution? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below how you would have solved this problem. We're putting out new content two to four times a week. So if you enjoy these videos and educating yourself on what goes on behind the scenes in various home renovation projects, so that you're better informed when screening a contractor for your work at your house, use that subscribe button. Click that notifications bell so you don't miss an episode. There's nothing we can't help you with. Roofing, siding, windows, doors, decks, kitchen renovations, bathroom makeovers, finished basements, plumbing, electrical, drywall, spackle, paint, build your custom dream home, in addition, a garage. If you've got a problem we can help you solve, if you're tired of the runaround from contractors not calling you back, we have a dedicated office staff standing by to assist you weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008. Please choose option 2 for Cope Construction and Renovation and extension 2 for new projects. Or you can take a picture of your problem, send it to us here on Facebook using that Contact Us button here at the top of our page. We are your full-service construction and renovation team and a Pennsylvania Home Improvement Contractor number 88078, also licensed in Delaware, 10490. Remember, we're finished with it. You'll be proud to say it's not just done. It was Cope Built. We look forward to you joining us on the next edition of Forever Home. This is Drew in Lincoln University, Pennsylvania. We'll see you soon.